in the Alaska Airlines maintenance hangars. An inspection has uncovered a potential fault in the hydraulic systems of a brand new Boeing 737. The plane is the first of a new generation, planned to carry more than 44 million passengers to 120 destinations in five countries. Any fault could have massive financial fallout, so the pressure is on to fix the problem fast. The job falls to the night shift, led by lead technician Gary Krechik. When they brought the airplane in, they found a hydraulic leak, and it's uh, normal for most of the older airplanes, but for a newer airplane, they, uh, they kind of want to take a look at it to be sure. Whatever the problem is, it's affecting both the aircraft's wings. From the ground, you can kind of see this yellowish hydraulic fluid. That's what it looks like when it's used. The normal color of hydraulic fluid is purple. We see yellow, it looks like it's been there for a while. So purple, we get nervous, really nervous about because it's a running leak. If the airliner is suffering a running leak of hydraulic fluid, the problem could cost $30,000 to fix. Gary takes steps to diagnose the issue. What we're gonna do is drop the flaps, uh, clean the area up, and maybe tighten a couple of the swivels on the leading edge devices, and uh, operate them a couple of times and see what happens. You can see them coming out now. The initial inspection finds no evidence of any serious faults, but the maintenance team has to make sure the Boeing is up to the challenge of Alaskan winter. There's nothing obvious, so what we're going to do is let it statically sit with hydraulic pressure on, you hear the pumps on now, for a couple of more minutes, and then what we'll do is operate the flaps. Even without a smoking gun, veteran technician Gary is able to deduce what's going on inside the aircraft. One other thing to note is that the hydraulic fluid quantity on the airplane was not abnormally low, so it indicates we don't have a running leak or anything. What we don't see is fresh hydraulic fluid or purple fluid, and that tell, would tell, indicate to us that it's not a running leak. As far as I'm concerned, it looks like it's just a cold soak problem. Cold soak is a problem anyone maintaining aircraft in Alaska has to know how to handle. Cold soak leaks are are a function of our climate. Real cold weather, we get a little bit more leaks. Things tend to leak more in the cold weather. In Alaska's extreme cold, the rubber seals of the hydraulic system shrink, and the shrinkage creates gaps. In this case, it's an O-ring that, as it gets cold, gets more brittle. And so what happens is fluid tends to uh, leak past it at a greater rate. The good news for the night shift is that this problem will fix itself as the metals warm up in the heated hangar. It looks pretty good. These are dynamic seals, and we're not seeing any leakage from them at all. But we're gonna resolve this one for now. We're gonna close this item and uh, start working on something else. The brand new bird is clear to fly. <laughs>